And what's the great thing about Anderson is he's three bowlers in one. He's a probing outswing bowler with the new ball, posing problems to both right-hander and left-hander because he can swing the ball both ways. Look at this ball to Kieran Powell here, drawing him into the shot. The ball curving away towards the slips and then Anderson following up brilliantly with the in-swinger to the left hand of the next ball which knocked him over and he was attempting to leave it. How does he do those two balls? Well, the one on the left is the ball that swings away from the left hander done with the index finger, applying more pressure with the index finger and the seam canted in the direction of swing. And then the one that swung back into the left hander, more pressure applied with the middle finger and the seam also canted again in the direction of swing. There's no other changes really in his delivery or his action that the batsman can pick up, but massive differences in productivity. There's the one that swung late away and then the one that ducked back in. You can see the batsman here attempting to leave it and too late as the ball swung back in to hit his off stump. Then later in the innings, when the ball isn't swinging as much, he can probe away on a good line and length, making sure the batsman's technique is really good and he picked up his second wicket with basically a straight delivery which Kirk Edwards played all round. But Anderson's greatest asset perhaps is that he can go round the wicket to the left-handers as well, almost mimicking a left-arm over bowler. These kind of deliveries to Darren Bravo are the kind of balls that actually a Ryan Sidebottom might have been able to produce for England a couple of years ago. And notice how he's really working Bravo over here, working away outside the off stump. Then there's the short one to pin him on the back foot. And then the tasty morsel just offered a little bit fuller with late swing, the edge. But unfortunately, Anderson's mate, Graham Swan, couldn't help him out.